well, this is the name of Melba's speech is Establishing Your Brand. Establishing Your Brand, Melba Gilbert. I'm glad she said that word because I have more time with and 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 walked into the bar. He's taking a couple of drinks and the guy next to him says, I can bet you $20 that I can float in the sky. Now the thing that's unusual about this bar is it is on, it, on a floor of a building that's 10 stories high. And the guy says, oh that's impossible, you'll kill yourself. Oh yeah, I'll bet you twenty dollars. You must first say, sign this waiver that I will not be accused of having you die and fall to your death. Sure. So the guy walks over to the patio or to the uh, ledge, and he walks out into the air, and is floating ten stories above the ground. I can't believe you did that. How in the world? Pretty, isn't it? Pretty impressive, isn't it? <laughs> so, the guy comes back and he says, I'll bet you a hundred dollars that I can do it again. Let me check these. And so the guy that was going to bet the ten dollars waved his hand out, saw no strings, saw no tricks, he goes, okay, I've got to see what you're doing. I'll pay you a hundred if you can do it, and if not, you pay me a hundred. The guy walks out onto the air and is floating again. I don't understand how you do it. 500. I'll give you the secret when I show you. Done. But you're going to do it. What? Don't worry. I'll show you how to do it. The guy that, that paid it 20 and now 50 and 100 walks out to the air. Ah! Everybody? Ah! It is 10 stories. <laughs> <laughs> the guy walks back to the bar. The bartender says, Superman, you're a mean drunk. <laughs> <laughs> now, jokes are funny because they can be people out of character. Superman is not particularly known to be harassing people when he's drunk, and thus the humor of the joke. I want to talk about brandy. There is a guy on YouTube, and I presented this to you entrepreneurs before prior to this presentation. It's called The Reason Why. His name is Simon Sinek, and he's not a Sinek. He's optimistic. <laughs> he has what's called the Golden Circle, and he talks about how people try to advertise, and there are three circles that each business does, and each, some of you may be already familiar with this. There is the what we produce, there is the how we produce, and then there is the why we produce. I've always wondered what a widget is. Does anyone have an interpretation about what a widget is? Yes, what is a widget? It's something that does something. Okay, <laughs> very precise, very astute of you. Thank you. So the widgets, and the way you remember how it spells because of W for what and W for widget, unless it's what, okay. And then the how is the factory work. But a lot of people do not realize the significance of why. I'm gonna illustrate a why with good old Microsoft. No, actually Apple. Apple could advertise, they are, they are very well known, they sell a lot of product, they are the highest big seller of computer software with the phones and et cetera. They could say, Apple, we make great workstations with a simple to use and that's why you should buy them. But Microsoft, Apple, they are two separate, and, 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 and two separate entities. Apple can say instead, Everything we do, 
we believe in change and the status quo we believe in being different. The very products that we create are beautiful design, simple to use, and user friendly. Want to buy one? By emphasizing not what they create, but how and why they are different, that is what people buy, is image. A lot of people may want to buy a car that is an electronic car to save the environment, but it also says something about them. I like to give some other examples of branding. I went to a writer's conference this weekend and the, an author talked about that he likes watching chick flicks. He likes romance movies. So I guess he's a great date night for he and his wife because he actually likes them. And he actually writes romance as one track of his brand because this is about brandy. And he writes another brand of fiction that is guys shooting monsters and guys and girls with guns shooting monsters. They could be on complete opposite ends of the spectrum and he uses branding for each individual one. And because he likes with cheek flicks, he can see why he likes to do right fantasy. We want to come up with ideas of how we can produce an image of our company. <coughs> Some of you entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. on tra 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 entrepreneurs. It's always going to be newer than older. No, no, it's always going to be newer than older. Okay, we need to come up with ideas of how we can create an image of ourselves. Let me show you some examples. There is an organization called Three Keys. Has anyone ever heard of Three Keys? It talks very good. It talks about body language. Everything in their advertisements talk about how we can help you. We can help you. We can help you. And this, their, their complete formats, their complete videos and titles are used, how we can help you. Another company that my sister works for, my sister, my friend works for, is that she gets docked when she doesn't chat with the customer. Usually when I'm on the customer support, hurry up, process the widgets, process the calls as quick as you can. And yet, for her company, for her credit card company, if you don't establish a rapport with your customer, you get docked. What does that credit card company want to establish as a persona of their company? They want to train customers to see that they're very